Welcome and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a basic data set to automatically refresh with the Power BI data gateway. So let's start with creating a, uh, a simple data set. So we'll call it uh, Power BI gateway test. So in here I'm going to create a uh, spreadsheet uh, data gateway test throw some data in here. Alright, so we're going to do a fictitious uh, colours of cars and numbers of cars seen. Super easy, so let's make some cars. Red, blue, yellow, and for the sake of it, let's just go 5, 10, 15. Alright, so you want this to be a, a table ideally, so you can select that and hit Control T, uh, and that will turn it into a table for you uh, super easy so we go save all right now if you go into power bi uh, and power bi desktop and it's signed in as a helpful starting point you're going to get some data so you choose excel and on my desktop i have my data gateway test cool so i want to bring in table one you see the preview there click load and it throws it in on the right hand side under the fields. Cool, so I've got colors of cars and I've got numbers of cars there. So I'm going to create a, a super simple uh, graph here. Let's make the colors of cars the axes and the number of cars the values. There we go, that represents my data. I'm going to show you one other trick as well. If you select the uh, graphic on the right and then go to the paintbrush and the visualizations, you can actually make those colors the correct ones. So data colors. So we'll make blue, blue, red, red, yellow, yellow. Just makes it a little bit easier. All right, we're going to save that uh, because it tells us we need to. And data gateway test .pbix. And then we are in a position where we can publish it. So let's click publish and ask you where you wish to publish to. I'm just going to throw it into my uh, test area here. Now the goal of this of course is to be able to show you that you can actually refresh this data uh, automatically. So if we go to Open Data Gateway Test in Power BI, it will load it for us automatically. Awesome, nice and simple. So what we want to change now though is some of the data and see it refreshed. So if you open up the, uh, the menu on the left hand side you'll see there's a new data set here which was the Data Gateway Test which we've just published and we can confirm that because on the fields we have the colors of cars, the numbers of cars. So if we go back to our original spreadsheet, imagine this has actually changed and we now have seen um, 25 cars. All right, so we'll save that data. Um, we're not gonna reload it back into Power BI Desktop. And if we go back to Power BI in the browser and the data set, we can see a couple of things. If we click the ellipsis on the right, we can actually schedule a refresh. So we're gonna do that now. Because I have the uh, data gateway already installed, and for you to install it, you can go up to the top right hand corner and click data gateway. Um, just click, 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 and you'll be through. Uh, I want to seize my gateway connection, which is great, running on my uh, laptop. Uh, but it tells me my credentials aren't correct, so I'm going to uh, sign back in using Windows authentication. So the data gateway now will be talking directly. It says, yeah, that's fine and I want to set a scheduled refresh for it to be daily on my time zone and I want it to send me an email if it fails. So if I go apply, that's great that it's scheduled and the way it goes, but what if I wanted to see that refreshed blue 25 right now? So I just want to do a manual refresh, I don't want to wait until the, uh, the scheduled refresh time. I can actually just jump to my data set, click refresh now, and you see in the top right hand corner it says preparing for refresh. That's pulling the data from that Excel spreadsheet through the data gateway up into Power BI. And if I actually go back to that report, it hasn't shown it there, but if I click refresh and reload that, you should hopefully see. There we go, the blue bar now shows 25. So you can imagine that if you've got multiple people that are working on a single offline Excel document or CSV spreadsheet or Access database uh, and you 
you just want to make sure that data is being re uh, refreshed regularly into Power BI, this is the best way that you can do it. Set up the Power BI data gateway, and then under your data connections, uh, schedule a refresh from the device. That might mean you need to store the uh, files in the data gateway on a shared server uh, so that everybody can have access to it and it's always on. We'll probably make it a bit easier. Good luck.